What's going on guys? Welcome to the first edition of Mean Gene Live. The only show on Terror TV where the only rule here is to have a hashtag NFG attitude. I'm your host Mean Gene and with me in some other location is my fellow co-host Matt Savage Conklin. How are you Matt? Well let me tell you something Mean Gene. You know we're here to talk about Survivor Series aren't we? Oh absolutely. Well then absolutely. let's go. Right here we're going we're gonna to talk about the WWE pay-per-view that just happened this past Sunday, Survivor Series. This year's Survivor Series was held at the Air Canada Center in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And as you know, Matt, what made this special is that this marked the 30th year anniversary of Survivor Series. So you know the company had to pull out all the stops. Hell, they even brought Goldberg back, who hasn't wrestled in over 12 years, for a mega match between him and Lesnar. It was also a spe special day for the Canadians, since they haven't had a WWE pay-per-view in Canada since the 1997 Survivor Series, which you know is famous for the Montreal Screwjob. And boy, did those Canadians miss having a WWE pay-per-view in their backyard, huh? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> and the funny thing is, we actually saw a little bit of a screw job last night. Oh. You know, <laughs> I can only imagine what Bret Hart was thinking when he, uh, when he saw that, which we'll, we'll get into pretty soon. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Well, without any further ado, let's get started. This pay-per-view was all about brand supremacy. See, the first match to talk about is the Team Raw versus Team SmackDown women's match. The Team Raw included Raw's women's champions Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Bayley, Nia Jax, and Alicia Fox, while Team SmackDown included Naomi, Alexa Bliss, Carmella, Natalya, and SmackDown women's champion Becky Lynch. So what do you think about the match, Matt? First thing that came to mind. I know you're kind of a big fan of Nia Jax. I, I guess, I, you know, sure. She's not like most <laughs> girls. <laughs> you know, her shirt said Raw, but I guarantee most guys probably wouldn't. Uh, oh, <laughs> she I, was just, uh, she was all over the place. Okay, um, okay, well, but of course, as we all saw, Raw was winning this. Like I said, once Nia Jax was on the team, it was quiet for them. They had no chance. I was just like, eh, so we let Raw have this one because I, I didn't care that much. Is what it is. I mean, absolutely. You know, uh, all in all, it was good action. Uh, you can't complain to open up the show. Agreed. And, uh, you know, Raw took it home. Of course, of course. Raw can have it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, the next match. The next match was The Miz from SmackDown, the most must see intercontinental champion of all time, versus Sami Zayn from Raw for the intercontinental championship. If Zayn won, the IC title would be moved to Raw. And uh, we mentioned this at the, uh, at the start of the show. Um, <laughs> there was a, a bit of a premature bell. Uh, let me tell you, it's probably not the only thing The Miz does prematurely with Maurice. Uh, <laughs> um, so what did you think of that finish, Gene? Well, first, let me start off with this. You know I hate The Miz. I hate, hate, hate. The Miz. How do you hate The Miz? Uh, son, I never, liked the, I never liked that bastard. To the me, Miz is your intercontinental champion. Uh, yeah, unfo unfortunately. Him. Look, look, I was rooting for him to win just because I didn't want Raw to have that belt. See, they've already poisoned enough belts on that other brand. I just didn't think the IC title should go there. So for that, I'm happy The Miz won. Don't care how he did it, but he won. Now that he's won, on the next night of SmackDown, he can lose it to somebody else because Sami Zayn was on Raw. He, he, Raw, he can go back to Raw because I didn't give a damn. Thank bottom you, line, Miz. Bottom line, the Miz knows how to get the job done. Yeah, but still, F Miz. The third match was another Team Raw versus Team SmackDown match. Team Raw included Raw's tag team champions, The New Day, Enzo and Big Cass, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, The Shining Stars, Cesaro and Sheamus, while Team SmackDown included SmackDown's tag champs, Heath Slater and Rhino, The Hype Bros, The Usos, Breezango, and American Alpha. So what did you think of that match, Gene? I thought the match was all right. I, again, I wish, well, for this one, I was actually shocked that, Smack, that uh, SmackDown lost this, but I will give props. Did you see Cesaro do that 619 last I night? I did. Yo, that I, was pretty incredible. Son, I was, imp I was like, damn. This, and this is the problem. This is the problem with Meek Mahan. Why does this <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Who? Who? You, this, you know, this is the I'm, problem the, with who? The dude on your shirt. You know what I'm talking about, Meek Mahan. This guy, <laughs> this guy made it a point to bury Cesaro and Cesaro keeps proving every single time why he should be a main event guy yet this fool this senile idiot keeps denying him this opportunity and I hate that look according to Vince McMahon Cesaro doesn't connect well with the fans yes that's all I'm gonna say about that yeah but back to the match 
you know, Survivor Series, they kept mentioning fantasy warfare. That, that's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. It's matchups you don't normally see. And so wh I really liked how Cesaro and Sheamus were, you know, going toe to toe with, uh, with Slater and Rhino. You know, you really don't see that much. And uh, m a moment where that really uh, hit me was when Chad Gable of American Alpha hit a big German suplex on Cesaro. And in that moment, I was just like, wow, you know, this is what a, uh, a uh, interpersonal brand pay-per-view is all about. Right. You also saw that, that little confrontation between Enzo and Cass and Heath Slater and Rhino. Another fantasy yeah. match that hopefully, you know, Enzo and Cass, if you want to come over to SmackDown, come, come, come. We're waiting for you. But Wait a minute, Gene. Are you, uh, are you Team SmackDown oh, live by any chance? All the way, all the way. Really? Yeah, Raw can suck it. I, I thought, I don't uh, care I thought as a host you're supposed to be a little bit of <laughs> I know. You think I'm supposed to be unbiased. This is my show. Me. I don't care. I'm biased. Team SmackDown all the way, baby. Very well. All right. But as you saw, Raw won it. Shocked, but it is what it is. Cesar and at that James. point, it was 2-0 Raw. They were going for the sweep. Oh, of course they were, but uh, that, that wasn't happening. Well, all right then. We're going to take a brief intermission. And when we come back, Matt and I, I'm going to go find this idiot, and we're going to talk about the rest of the matches. Back to you. Are you a listener? Do you have ears? If you have ears, then you would love this new, brand new thing we got going on here. It's a thing that requires ears. It's a little thing called a podcast. Believe it or not, podcast. those things on the side of your head, they have a function. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to Mean Gene Live Survivor Series. I finally found this guy, Matt. Found you. Where the he hell found were you? me. Where the hell were you? I was in a different studio. I was in a separate location. Traitor. All right, fine. Okay. Well, the next match we're going to talk about is, is the Cruiserweight match between... The Cruiserweight Champion, the Brian Kendrick from Raw, versus Kalisto on SmackDown for the Cruiserweight title. Now, the condition here is that if Kalisto won, Kendrick and the rest of the Cruiserweight division would be headed over to SmackDown. So what do you think about that before I go on a rant? Well, uh, the, the implication of the match was, I mean, it wasn't all there for me. I'm just not into the Cruiserweights as much as other people are. And what was with that whole handshake at the beginning? Yeah, is, that, that, is that customary that, now? That's so stupid. I guess <laughs> they're trying to bring uh, some Ring of Honor so into it. Like, if Kendrick is a heel, why the hell is he I know, shaking someone else's hand? He's, he's the man with the plan. Okay. You know, he doesn't want to shake anyone's hand. Yeah. By the way, he's really the only Cruiserweight that I like. <laughs> just because I like him from back in the day, you know? I can't doubt that. And, but other than all that, the match was, you know, it was fine. It was, it was very entertaining. Except the end, <laughs> of oh. course. It had to get ruined by, uh, I mean, you can, you can take it from here. Okay, cool. I want to point something out here. You, at the end of the match, Baron Corbin cost Kalisto that match. That brown-haired noodle rainbow f cost SmackDown the Cruiserweights. I wanted them so badly. I hate him. I hate him, Matt. I hate him. You He's got a receding hairline, too. Son, he needs to shave this because you see his hair looks like it's coming off. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, let's just shave it. He's right? looking like Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he'll probably look like Snitsky for all we know. You know what I mean? So for that, that pissed me off. And then, of course, his, you saw when he interacted with Daniel Bryan at the end where he was like, I did this because I don't want, small, I don't want smaller guys like Kalisto on my brand. I'm like, you bastard. You're not looking at the bigger picture here. Lone wolf. I know. I this know. guy, lone wolf. <laughs> lone wolf. Lone wolf. Whatever that yeah, means. Yeah, lost puppies, more like it. <laughs> but all right. Okay. All right. So uh, the fifth was the uh, final Team Raw versus Team SmackDown match of the night, where Team Raw included Braun Strowman, Seth Rollins, Chris Jericho, uh, the poster boy for the WWE wellness policy, Roman Reigns, and WWE Universal Champion Kevin Owens. And they took on Team SmackDown, which included Bray Wyatt. Randy Orton, Dean Ambrose, Shane McMahon, and World Heavyweight Champion AJ Styles. Champ that runs the camp. The uh, yeah, the, the face that runs the place. Oh yeah. yeah. Who, who stole John Cena's catchphrase? Nah, 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 That's cool. No, no, face that runs the place. Sure. The place. Champ okay. That runs the camp. Okay. Look. <laughs> I really enjoyed that match. It was awesome. It went on a while, but that's okay. There were 10 people in it, so oh, okay. I had no problem with that. I I loved 
The Shield reuniting. Yo, Dean Putting Ambrose. Putting AJ Styles through the table. Dean Ambrose is a traitor. <laughs> like, yeah, he betrayed your, your team blue. Did not, he did not see the bigger picture here. He was so caught up. He was so wet to reunite with his brothers that he just he cost it. It was he awesome. Cost the match. It was awesome. But that spear, though, that Reigns gave to Shane McMahon, though. Pretty son, devastating. That, that had to have killed him. Because you saw right after the match, like, the ref had to stop it. Like, they yeah. were about to pin I know, him. I know. And then the ref's like, oh, sh this is not good. Um, we got to call the medic team, and you see they took Shane. They took Shane to the to the back. And there were there were stories I've read about where Randy Orton actually uh, he visited uh, Shane's kids who were sitting at ringside right after that happened, and he was trying to you know calm them down, tell them you know your dad's gonna be okay, and all that. Uh, so it really you know uh, Orton's a pretty stand up guy. I'd be uh, shocked when if it comes down back, to it. Yeah, I'd be shocked if Shane showed up on Tuesday. Absolutely destroyed, and that was crazy. I know. Other than that shield reunion, that fracker Dean Ambrose, and then we, we ended. We got to the part where you saw, you saw when Seth Rollins took that RKO from Randy Orton from yeah. the top rope. Yeah. That was insane. Incredible. I was like, this guy Seth Rollins cannot stay away from this RKO. No. <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. It and was exactly. And the it, only problem I had with that match was Luke. Oh, yes. My guy. Your guy. My guy. He's stupid. No. And you know what I love? How earlier in the match, Kevin Owens gets disqualified <laughs> for hitting, uh, who did he hit? Styles, I, I think? I think he hit with, Styles, with, yeah. with, the, with the clipboard. The list of Jericho. And yeah. then you have, you have Luke Harper interfere in the match on behalf of Team SmackDown. Nothing happens. That's cool. Yeah, but no, look, you got to look at the big picture. My guy. <laughs> I'm another guy, guy who has to look at the big picture, James. apparently. My guy, James. My guy James right here made sure Strowman didn't get back in yes, the ring. Yes, yes, the mascot eliminated the monster. That's we forgot guy. about and that. And then he got obliterated, like Strowman yeah. put him through a table. That, that, to me, I'm not going to lie, part of me was laughing. I got a sick thrill out of that. I love James, but you knew this shit was going to happen when you, cost, when you cost Strowman the match. So for me, that was great. And then it got down to Reigns versus Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. I like how even Canada hates Roman Reigns. That's messed up. Like, how do you go to another country and they still don't like you? Like, they booed him throughout the whole match. Even when he was getting beat up, these, these fans were getting a sick throw out. Like, yeah, yeah, beat him up, beat him up. Rain no. sucks. Absolutely. But of course. He's just hated. I don't think he can avoid it. Oh, f it's time for the dude to turn heel. I don't know why he doesn't turn heel. But uh, then. Let's, let's, uh, let's exactly. not talk about that. And then, of course, Bray got the pin because Rain, uh, Randy Orton took the spear good. for Bray Wyatt, which is good. I like that. And I'm happy. So our team SmackDown. I, they, to me, this was the most important one. They, they didn't they, get swept. No, 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 they could have got, they got the Raw one, which I was fine with, with the, the Raw women's one. I was cool with that because I knew it was going to happen. The tag team match shocked me. But the most important one with my boy AJ Styles and James Ellsworth. We're in there. That is what I cared about. And we won it, so we're cool with that. F that universal title, by the way. It's a piece of <laughs> Thank you for not bringing that to SmackDown. We don't want garbage on our, on our brand. James James is all we need, and the WWE World title. Okay. All right, so there was one match after that. Which we will not talk about, because as <laughs> you know, we got, a, we, got, we got a guy. We got a special guest coming on. We have a guy. So when we come back, we're going to bring in our special guest, my, our guy. Antonio, after the break. And we're back with us today to talk about the Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg match, we have our guy, Antonio. Damn it, Gene. You didn't give me a chair. I don't get no water bottles. Yeah. I, don't, I don't. You're basically in, in infiltrating my show, so I, just, I, just be happy you're even on. I oh, see wow. you, you clearly weren't invited. I clearly you, not. And no, you, clearly yeah, I see not. he's got the scarf of Jericho. Damn right. I got the scarf for Jericho. <laughs> All right. Well, let's talk about the last match on the card. Brock Lesnar versus Bill Goldberg. 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 <laughs> Where did you see the match? I saw it live five minutes ago on YouTube before you texted me to come here. You douchebag. <laughs> He's honest. <laughs> that match was so The greatest short. thing in the world. I liked it especially when it got to the third minute of the match. You know what? I'll give you that. It was better than 2004, that's for sure. Damn right. That, that was crazy. I couldn't believe what happened. I don't know. Where do you think they're going to go with this, though? I think nowhere. Really? I mean, when's the next time Goldberg's coming back? The Rumble. Yeah? Yeah. Is it in his contract? 
I don't know. <laughs> I guess you got to ask Meek Mahan. Oh, I've got to ask Meek Mahan. Maybe he'll tell us. I don't know. When we could see it happen. But I'll, I'll tell you, like my one thought about this match, I did not expect that at all. No, I, I thought there was no way Goldberg yeah. was winning this match. I can agree with you. Well, I, I, I thought, thought, thought he was winning. I thought he was you, winning. You Wait, thought no, I you, did. You told me a few days ago that they were going to squash him to make Brock even stronger. Exactly. Was, excuse me? Yes, that was... That was putting words in my mouth now? Uh, well, I, I mean... I thought Goldberg was going to win. Right. I thought Goldberg was going to win. Shut up. Okay. Right. Okay. Honestly, Will, I thought Shane was going to interfere because I really thought they were going to do that stupid Brock Lesnar, uh, Lesnar versus Shane McMahon match, which I really did not want to see. No. But I thought that's no. what they were going to do. I'm glad they didn't do it, mm -hmm. but I feel like this is going to lead to a match at the Rumble. But who knows, right? Mm. We'll see what happens. We will see. Yeah. Well, that's all for this edition of Mean Gene Live. I'm Mean Gene. He's Matt Savage Conklin. That's Antonio. And we will see you next time.